Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to get folders on an i device, such as my first generation iBot Touch. How to get folders on that. First of all, I'm going to show you my sec sister's second generation iBot Touch, which natively, natively has Apple's folders featured in the iOS 4 device. I mean, operating system. As you can see, this is a second generation iPod Touch. So to start, we have a folder here. It contains the two icons of the two apps that are in it. Obviously, if you add more apps, more icons are stacked inside the little box. So again, as you saw, to open a folder, just tap it, tap to close, and you can tap to launch the app. To rename, all you have to do is press and hold. Whoops. Press and hold on the folder. Tap on it. And then you can close out hit the X and then rename it to whatever you want. But that's pretty, that's not that hard to do. Next, to make a folder, tap and hold an icon until they start to wiggle and just drag one on top of the other. And then they'll make their own little folder. And as you can see, it automatically drops down and you can rename the folder whatever you like and it'll have the two apps that you want. You can rearrange the apps like that. Easy. And then you just tap again to open and you can launch the app. And then to remove, you just drag out as you wish. Like that. Now in comparison, first generation, this is obviously not in the real folders, but it's pretty close. You tap to open it, you tap the home button to close. Since the folder's full screen, you can't really tap on the icon again to close out, but regardless, that's how it goes different folder with games in it. And alright, so to get started I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You want to open Cydia and you want to look for, hit search, and then look up categories. You're going to want to download that. If you don't already have the repository, it's Big Boss repository. Um, next, you'll notice that there's this thing called Categories SB, which is Categories Springboard. And as it says down here, it integrates categories into the springboard. What that means is, when you initially download categories and you just download it and nothing else, and you want to try to add and open the folder, it will not do that. It will not be that smooth. You will have to tap it, it will take some time to load, and then the thing will, and then that will pop up. But it won't be as smooth as this. And obviously, since we want you know things to be smooth when we jailbreak, you're going to want to fix that. So what you're going to do, normally, if you want to pay the money for this, you can, but there's a free alternative, which is right down below. The Sinful iPhone repository, which, again, I'll post down below here or in the description, um, that has many of the paid Cydia apps or features, tweaks, that, but they crack and they're for free. So you want to add that repository, and then you are going to search for categories again and look up categories SB crack installed that. And I'm pretty sure after you install both of those categories and categories SB, you will be required to respring. And after that, you will get an app on your home screen that looks like this. It's called categories. So this is an, this is an actual app. So it will take a little time to load. Now. This is basically how you manage your folders or categories. And obviously you start here with manage folders. Now as you saw earlier, I already have three folders, so that's what these are. If I want to make another folder, I type edit and then add, and then it'll ask me for a name. For this tutorial, I'll just do test and then add. And then it'll prompt me for, uh, to select an icon, which I'll just select one, for example, like miscellaneous. Come on. Alright, and then you see that it pops up here on the list. If you tap the blue arrow next to it, you'll find settings that you can do on this individual folder. I'm not going to go through all this right now, you can explore this for yourself. So then you want to back up and then get to the part where it's not, you know, with the little minus sign. And then tap on the folder that you want to manage or add apps to. And now it will load every app that's on your um, iDevice currently that is not in a folder I believe. So again you just tap off and then you will just 
yeah, tap off and select whichever one you want to put in the folder. And then from there, I'm not going to actually do that because it takes a little time to respring. But from there, if you want, let's go to just say jailbreak, which has five apps. You can, from here, you can rearrange the apps in order that you want by just tapping and dragging at the side here. Um, by default, it's set to um, alphabetic order, which I think is nice, but you can change that around if you want. Um, and then after that, you will want to tap respring immediately because when it resprings, it will then make the folder and put the folder on your home screen. And then as the final result, you get this, which looks nice to me, which I'm not really that picky about as long as it categorizes my home screen, I'm happy. So I think it's a pretty good hack. A little good tweak. I know there are people still working on it to make it look even more authentic, to make it actually look like that icon, or to make it have that textured background. Now obviously, since this is a jailbreak tweak, you can't just drag and then wait for it to hold and then drag it out or rearrange it. So that's kind of the hassle. But on the plus side, you are able to add an infinite amount of apps to a folder in categories, but on the supported iOS 4 folders, you only have a limit of, I believe, it's either 9 or 12, I'm not quite sure. One of the two. I might think it's 9, uh, so the icons fit inside the box, but I don't really know. So that's a short tutorial on how to get folders on a non-iOS 4 supported device. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and I'll be happy to answer them.